talk. Oh, no, my dear. Not according to the book. He was right, of course. The clock has a glass face, and you don't want glass in your refuge room. It's a sound instinct to want to shelter at home. Most houses are good protection against blasts and splinters. And with one of the new shelters specially designed to be proof against debris in your refuge room, you are very well protected. Do as these people are doing. Prepare your refuge room and remove from it everything unnecessary. There are lots of houses where sheltering at home can be reasonably safe. Houses such as these. Usually a room overlooking the road is not so good as one facing the back garden because bombs go deeper in soil. Nevertheless, you must attend to your windows. Either take out the glass or paste material over the inside. For your refuge room, there is a new government steel table shelter. This will be available in certain areas, where it will be free to those with incomes under 350 pounds, and will also be on sale at seven pounds. It has stood up to the severe tests equal to the weight of collapsing ceilings and roofs in small houses. It should be put in the middle of the room and can be used as a table. When the cloth and tea things are laid, you would hardly know it for a shelter. There is, of course, the alternative of putting up a timber framework strong enough to bear the weight of a falling upper floor. Read how to do it in the booklet. By the way, where is that booklet? Here it is, my copy, that you can buy it for thrivens at any bookstore. It's called Shelter at Home. <laughs>